my name's Nick Bradley and we're going to go through some of the finer points to the driver setup. Uh, obviously this club, a bit like the wedge really, all depends on a great angle of attack and certainly we want to create those qualities in the address position. Alright, so what are they? Well number one, obviously, you know, it goes without saying that we need, you know, there's not a lot of loft on this guy. We need a good grip, alright? So, you know, if you, the first port of call you guys need to work on if you're not driving good, Okay, with this li little loft on the face, you need to make sure that the hands are talking to the club face properly. Okay, just go out and get any, go any decent golf book. Mine, the Seven Laws of the Golf Swing, will have great diagrams of what a great grip should look like. So that's your first port of call. But aside from that, the bigger picture for a driver setup is to do with the body positioning. Right, number one, what we obviously want to do is we want to create an attack on the ball that's level or very slightly ascending. Certainly we don't want to be down, okay? So we've got to get that ball position a little up in the stance there. Number two, I like to see this right knee work in a little bit and your spine slightly behind the ball. Okay, that's a great launch angle ingredient for you with your driver. Okay, number two, number three is try and get the hands, don't have any forward lean in the shaft here, try and have the hands matching the spine and the nose, okay? So you'll see one of the things I've observed on tour, some of the best drivers of golf balls have actually had the hands slightly behind the shaft, okay, or the head um, at the address position and in line with the spine, okay? They haven't got one going this way or one going that way. It's very linear. Okay, so let me, let me uh, set up here, talk through the aspects again and, uh, and hit one away. So number one, okay, vital to good, uh, to good driving is the hands communicating with the club face in the proper way. Number two, get that ball position in a point where the, the face is at least going to be level or slightly ascending through the strike. Number two, get the spine back, okay, and the knee in. And lastly, just feel that the hands are slightly behind the ball. From here, I can wind up to the top, okay, and get the proper launch that I need. Here we go. Okay, so that's an eight and a half degree driver. I've got a beautiful flight, but everything was dialed in at the address position. Jack Nicholas used to say something like 90% of the shot success was set up position orientation. So, key things there with the driver. Number one, make sure the grip is good, communicating with the club face. Number two, ball position where the face is gonna be level or slightly ascending. Number three, the spine here, okay, tilt slightly rearward with the right knee coming in. Okay, number four, get the hands very slightly behind the club face at the address position. Once again, this will give us good launch. You do those, carry them out, monitor them, and your driving definitely will improve.